Hello and welcome to Farmers Weekly. <laughs> You're such a turd. <laughs> uh, don't stress, guys. Ignition has not gone all rural. But if I say to you, Tractor, the last thing you to think about is something glamorous uh, or something refined. Simple, basic, no creature comforts. And that's pretty much what a lot of people might think of when they hear the name Mahindra. Um, not necessarily true, as we're going to find out this week. Well, if you think about it, Mahindra has been around since 1945, and they're obviously known for the utility vehicles, things like their Jeeps and, and obviously their tractors, but sure, they're known for a lot more than just that. Absolutely. IT, retail, even Bollywood, they supply components to the film industry. Quite insane, eh? Mm. But in South Africa, Mahindra goes with Bolero and goes with Scorpio. That's all we know. And those, remember Morgan's got those in his ignition dream team. <laughs> they want his dream team. Now he's got another player in the lineup. Let's see if he picks it, the new Zylo. Yeah, what makes the Zylo so special, I think, though, is uh, they're saying it's capturing a new market segment. But let's be honest, it's a really tough time in the motor industry to be launching a new car. And I think the only way they're going to be competitive, I guess, if they're really tough on price. <laughs> The Mahindra Zylo is not going to win any design awards, that's for sure, but it does the job. Much research was done with consumers to find out what they wanted in a people mover, and this is the result. A vehicle that's been designed from the inside out to be functional and practical. You spoke about being tough. It used to be tough to wear a pink shirt and to get into a Mahindra and on one day I've done both. <laughs> well done. Well I feel, done. I feel like quite a man. Which is fitting better? <laughs> well, pink is now fashionable for guys to wear, yeah. and I'm hoping that one day, well, I guess Mahindra is hoping one day it'll be fashionable <laughs> to drive a Mahindra. The interior. Oh. You know, this is quite an, and you know what? It makes a definite statement. <laughs> a statement of what exactly? A statement of. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's not wearing a pink shirt so much as wearing a. Um, Brown villa. <laughs> it, feel, it feels like my grand's lounge from yep, the 60s. Exactly. But is it the colour or is it actually the, the finish? Because I don't think the finish is too bad. For 180,000 Rand, we're talking this highly spec vehicle. How comfy are these seats? I feel like I'm in a Boeing. They are comfy. Yeah, they do actually feel a bit like fly, flight seats, plane and seats. The back is great too. <laughs> I actually forgot we had a monkey in the boot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're right. The brown is distracting. The brown makes you think of 70s porn. bad taste. Maybe Bollywood's going the porn route. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what uh, what other colours they have. Yeah. Actually, this probably wouldn't look bad in Maybe black. Maybe it's like you can pick any colour but brown. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. But it is highly spec, Lindsay, seriously. CD player, radio, onboard computer, which, I mean, I would rather have ditched the computer and have airbags in the car standard because why do I want to know what gear I'm in? I mean, I'm, I'm not a moron. But, you know, looking at it from the outside, it's almost like a throwback to the Toyota Condor days. Yeah, um, it's better looking than the Condor, though. Agreed. Mm. Agreed. And so, how is the drive? I'm not sure how well you're driving there or whether it's the car that's following. I didn't have uh, any wine at lunch, so <laughs> certainly not me. Yeah, I mean, th this drive is not going to inspire you to become a race car driver. <laughs> but, again, I think it's just important for us to remember what we're playing. Sure. It's comfortable, but yes, it's wallowy, it's all over the place in a way. The Zylo is quite a thirsty beast, lapping up a litre of diesel every 12 to 14 kilometres. And that's not because of its striking performance. The top speed is just 155 kilometres an hour. But let's face it, this is no boy racer. And for between 160 and 190,000, it provides an adequate drive in comfortable surrounds. 2.5 litre, 83 kilowatt diesel engine. Yeah. That's not all about performance. Sure. I wonder what it's like off-road. It'd be quite interesting to see, because I mean, they're saying it's a very, it's the ladder. Well, yeah, it's, it's, got, it's got the ladder chassis. It's not 4x4 four four, though, right. but the ladder chassis just makes it really strong and durable. Yeah. They said they're targeting Africa, obviously South Africa. So this car is going to be able to deal with gravel roads, yeah. uh, transporting people, work staff. I, th I think that's its application ultimately. So, Part of the Mahindra launch today was a whole load of French maids, which we were wondering what it actually had to do with the Mahindra Zylo's launch. I think Marius has got it sorted out. Oh, thanks, Lindsay. Um, I must tell you, the Mahindra Zylo has got so much space, you literally could, could live in it. I mean, take for example, let's have a look. The front seat lies down flat like a bed. How cool is that? 
tray tables and cup holders ideal for TV dinners. So it might not have airbags, but uh, it comes with living maids. That's Morris's take on it, as always, that kind of take. My take is that it's because it's made in India and it's dusting off the cobwebs of a market segment they claim was left bare by the departure of the Toyota Condor.